Good morning, everyone. It is uh, right about six o'clock. Um, getting the fire started for breakfast later. We are leaving. Um, have to get the boat and uh, the trailer out of here by 2 p.m. Um, we're still gonna cook breakfast today for you guys. We didn't cook the we didn't cook dinner last night, and. It was too dark to even um, try to even try to do that. So I don't know what we're having for breakfast. Uh, when Tasha, Tasha's already up. She's been watching a little bit of uh, YouTube um, and why she's laying there quietly because she knows if she gets up, I'm like a little kid and I have to get up. Uh, but I was up till oh, I went to sleep like 30 minutes or so. Um, maybe hour tops and then I woke up. Um, it was hard to go to sleep because my My neck was killing me and it gave me a headache. Sometimes my neck hurts so bad. It gives me a headache and and, and Last night was like that. So I woke up um, I downloaded some footage um, off my phones and I, I finally went to bed about 3 p.m. Um, and I was feeling better um, around then so I didn't get much sleep, um, as you can tell. Uh, but uh, we got to get out of here today, so I'm gonna be packing all this stuff up. Most of today is gonna be cooking breakfast and maybe just talking here and there while we hook the stuff up because I'm probably not gonna get a video of everything that we're doing because we do got uh, some work to do. But, I did make some coffee when we went home to check on Luna and collect eggs. So I want to drink my coffee and uh, wake up. So see you after I wake up all the way. That's what I said. Go pull stop recording. As you saw there, it did, doesn't take long to put this, um, take this down. It just, it takes longer to put it back up. Uh, that's what she said. Um, the only problem I have with this whole situation and with many situations of camping or anything you buy, just make the bag two inches bigger. Can you? Cause once you get it out of that vacuum sealed bag, it's hard to put it back in that bag. Would it hurt you to make the bag two inches bigger so it can fit in there a lot better, okay? Jesus, I'm out of breath because I'm trying to get a freaking bag in that bag. That tent in that, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let me finish this up. Had to jump on here to give you a tip of what I do. After that goes in that bag, all these supposed to go in that bag too no that bag is going to be almost alone with just that i got an extra bag that i got all this stuff in okay just get you another bag it's worth it go post stop recording pretty much packed up to everything i can do except the food that we're going to that we're going to be uh cooking later that's everything right there already ready to go we got spices um, we have the onions we have potatoes uh, we have plates so we have the coolers over here ready to go and drained of water um, the melted ice so I got that ready to go got everything over here for the boat we still need to get the boat um, all that is over there and ready to go um, I'm gonna wait for Tasha I'm wait for Tasha to get up out of there and then I'll go ahead and um, take that tent down. You're welcome, Tasha. I'll wait on you to get, get out of there before I pack that up. But we have five hours to go. Um, it's gonna make it kind of cutting it close once we eat. Have to take the boat all the way around. 
then take the boat home and then come back to get this stuff but at least when we come back all this would be almost ready to pack up on the trailer and just grab it and go so i'm being as efficient as possible um, i still need to videotape her doing the food so maybe uh i don't know it'll be okay i'll be okay we got to 2 p.m um to do this it's like 8 p.m now 8 a.m now so okay let me put this down and get a couple more things done drink some coffee and uh i'll talk to you when tasha gets up time to relax a little bit um i always joke around um about tasha sleeping in and i'm doing this we have an unwritten unwritten rule i guess not really a rule an unwritten understanding um she does all the cooking almost all the, pretty much all the cooking um i help out um, by recording her um no well no but uh <laughs> no but i help out um I get video shots real quick and then I start helping chopping up stuff and, and when she needs it. Usually she, she doesn't at all. Um, and I actually, I wash dishes. Um, she does all the cooking um, and I do all the videotaping and washing dishes and putting stuff away. She does help me out a little bit on the tent since she's up and we're done doing what we're doing and she'll help me with that at the very end after I clean up everything that would be the last thing there um it's good that it didn't even rain yesterday it did have a few drops it looked like it was going to be bad 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 it was real windy i don't know who got rained by us but whoever got rained around here got a lot of it um it was real i thought it was going to pour down but we got a few sprinkles so that was great i don't like for it to rain the, the night well, i don't like for it to rain any while we're here but um i don't like for it to rain especially the night before um, that's like the most, well, when we're getting here, we, I don't want it to rain because I'm setting up and very important not to, um, pack up when all your stuff's wet. That's what she said. Uh, you get mold, mildew, all that stuff, and it's not good. So sometimes I did pay for one extra day. If it did rain, I paid for one extra day to wait for it to dry out and then put it up. Um, I'd rather pay $25 extra. I know, it's, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of dinero. Uh, but uh, I do uh, pay $25 extra to dry everything out. Relax a little bit longer. Plus, um, not have to buy like a $400 tent. So, uh, lasts a little bit longer. That last tent, I think, lasted 12 to 14 years. And that was probably with alcohol involved as well. So 12 or 14 years out of a tent is a really, really good deal. Um, next stop though, I think we want to, well, I know we want to get an RV. Uh, we're just deciding if we just want to get one that is a pull behind or one that has the motor that you can just drive and then you can pull a boat, which that would be the best if we want to go fishing, we can pull a boat behind, um, behind it or we can pull a car. But I don't know. It's cost. It's very pricey. Then you got to pay for insurance. Like I guess you can pay for the weekend insurance, uh, recreational insurance. So it's not as much. Um, and then the tax for it every year, or whatever. It's, it's it gets a little pricey. There's pros and cons to each of them, and we still don't know because a regular two a two person one that's not too big or not too small, probably about twenty grand. Um, so they do get pricey. I, I know you can get them cheaper. I would like to get a brand new one. I don't want somebody else's band-aids. I'm not a fan of that. Um, we did get the boat, and I'm not sure if you know, we got the boat on my birthday a couple of years ago, and the guy didn't tell me that he patched the boat up because we was wondering where the water was coming in at. It was under the seat, just barely coming in, but it was getting like, wow, this where's the water coming from? Um, well looked under there the patch was coming loose yes so didn't tell me about that so guys if you have uh, something that could kill somebody that you're selling 
let them know beforehand so they can make an informed decision, okay? okay. With that said, before killing somebody, I'm gonna drink some coffee. Um, we're gonna get some video shots of cooking and then finish up packing and get some videos of me complaining about taking trailers and boats back or something. I don't know. Stay tuned and find out. Go post stop recording. Must be a sign. I need to get a, a tat, get a tattoo turkey vultures on me or something. The last time I um, did the Survivor Series that came out, you want to check that out, that came out May 20th, um, Garbage in the Woods. Um, turkey vultures was, right when we, I was leaving, they were circling around like they was wanting to peck my eyeballs out because they knew I was uh, malnutritioned and I could fall out at any time. And I had a bunch of, bunch of muscle on me that they could peck on for months. Um, I think, I think they think that now, but Tasha was with me, so we, we had plenty of food. We got plenty of food to bring home, too, so. Okay, let me shut up now, so I can go. Go post stop recording. Tasha's up. She has still has the pillow mark on her face. <laughs> and, uh... This is our last day here, and I didn't know what she was cooking, so I put all her stuff out. It was ready to go, and uh, I'm probably too energized for her right now. Well, then I get all excited. I'm like, Jojo, the idiot circus boy. Um, but I've been up, and I told him we got like an unwritten understanding, like you do all the cooking, and I kind of put stuff together here and there and, and uh, clean dishes. I'm a man. I'm a good house. I'm gonna make some good housewife. Um, but what are you gonna make today? Salmon croquettes and pancakes. All and right. Eggs. And eggs and bacon, huh? If you want bacon, some pork. I can, I can fix you some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, some pork. So I am definitely gonna best. I'm slobbering. <laughs> I'm slobbering. I was gonna spit, but that's gonna be bad yeah. for camera. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to um, let her get situated for a minute, and then I'm going to get some video of her doing what she's doing. Did you do a video on your channel on croquettes yet? I think I recorded it, but I haven't edited it. I don't know. Okay. Well, I can't show them everything, then. I don't care if you show them. <laughs> okay. All right, well, uh, let me get this camera ready to go, and we're going to get some food in your face.
we have the food. Made some um, golden flaky pancakes. Yeah? <laughs> pancake Campfire pancakes, she calls them. Um, and some eggs with cheese. Campfire eggs. AKA campfire eggs. And some Sal so salmon, since Tasha is here, it's called salmon, folks, not salmon. Salmon. Salmon croquettes. That's all? Okay, nothing fancy, but they taste fancy. Okay. We, we, we did. Um, and you forgot bacon. And bacon. Woohoo, I'm losing my mind. Yes. Oh, did you get the syrup? The, uh, oh, the syrup, bubbles? yes. Let me uh, get the syrup for you guys. Let me, let me surprise you. Oh, yes. Fruity pebbles. We did a um, review on the Fruity Pebbles and the Captain Crunch, the Cap'n Crunch. And um, Captain Crunch tastes like blue regular syrup. Yeah, it was just blue maple syrup. Yeah. It wasn't anything. This tastes exactly like Fruity Pebbles and it would taste really good on some ice cream. So check that review out. I'll put it right there. And- uh, I may not eat three pancakes. I might eat four. You sure might. And. Um, but uh, I'm gonna take a picture, a, a good video of this for you guys. Now let me finish fishing your plate first. Okay. Go. It's hot. It's hot. Well, I got the plate in this. So I'll, I got it. Okay. I didn't know what you was doing because I was just reaching for this to get this. Okay. And um. So say something else. Must have been a lie. Must have been. Woo, look at that. Oh yeah. This, this bird's It's happy. Yeah, because it looks at this food. It's like it's gonna drop <laughs> some crumbs. It's begging over there. Okay. And um, when I do this, can you pour the syrup on my pancakes when I... Sure. Let me put the bacon on your plate. Oh, got to get the bacon too. Yeah, I had it set to where oh, whoops. I was... <laughs> well, I want it to drizzle, like drizzle, like that. Let's just do that. Yeah? Okay. You some bacon See, it's more than just hit and record, guys. I like to think about you guys and what looks the best. You want me to pile all that up there? Sure. Let's get it all on there. Mm. See that bad acting? Yes. We all just <laughs> saw that. Okay. I'm going to come around to that one. That's my back. Okay. I'm gonna make sure to put that on my phone later. So I'll put it up like that so I don't forget. Woo-wee. Okay. Well, we, um, like I told you before, after this, we're gonna get the boat, go around to the boat dock. Um, I think I'm gonna drive the truck over there and ride the bike back so I can ride with you even though it's going to be heavier in the boat you think it's better so I can change the battery out if we have to I guess so yeah okay well I'll do that and get a little exercise and knock some of this fruity pebble syrup calories off of uh, off of my 
muscle down here. I'm gonna move this out of the way so they can see. We got one more Santa croquette in there. One more for me. Well, what's the best and the worst thing out here that you, uh, I'm gonna think of first. I think the worst would be the trash situation, but it is good once I talk about it because it's all the way over there for the raccoons to maybe go over there. Because when we did pull up, there's a raccoon that was looking and kind of hovering around knowing that, what do you need? What? I gave you one. It magically disappeared. It's in here. And, uh, not really think of the worst thing right now. I guess the worst is I can't can't find any fish out here uh, with the fishing poles, but we deal with the uh, yos. Um, I don't know. It's really peaceful out here. Everybody was pretty nice, and usually, you know, camping everybody is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. um, maybe the the sound of the, the the neighbor here, the air conditioner thing, was the worst because he sounded like he had an industrial. Amazon warehouse air conditioner. Oh, on the big tour bus. Yeah, every fifteen minutes it boom. <clears throat> that's that's it probably wasn't. it he was exaggerating like he liked to do. <laughs> it didn't bother me. The electricity go out, but I'm saying it's not even a factor because we don't have an R V with the industrial Amazon air conditioner. But some people was out here in the middle of the street when I was driving by and they wouldn't get off the street because they was already discombobulated. They didn't know what to do because the, the electricity was off and they're in a camper. But, <laughs> yeah, they but, were. but the positive thing is, I'm going to tell you guys, if you don't live in Mississippi, I don't know if your state's like this. I know Illinois is not and Memphis, Tennessee is oh, not. Memphis, MSU, and W is not like that. But Entergy, E-N-T-E-R-G-Y, Entergy, and, and the other one, I forget what the other one is. Atmos, that's Atmos. gas. Oh no, it, oh, they got more than they got more than one electric company. Okay, but but both of those, if if something goes out, it's it's fixed within a couple hours. I don't care how bad we had a bad ice uh, where everything was breaking. It don't even have to be a couple of hours. Yeah, it could be ten. It'll, 15, it'll be yeah. within the hour. It's they come out and they fix it right there. But usually, like when the tree branches, real big stuff happens. It doesn't take long at all. But usually, when the stuff they they come out real quick and fix it real quick, a lot of times people don't know it's squirrels. And you know how um, the circuit breakers in your house are. Well, when the squirrel gets on a line, they got lines where it snaps, where it just pops open like a circuit breaker. So when a squirrel gets on there, it causes all that, that energy, then it snaps like that. So it doesn't cause other damage. I thought they, I don't know. I used to live in Midtown, Memphis, and um, they had a problem. Like on my street, a lot of the houses in the backyards had bamboo in the back. And they would have to come out a lot and trim the bamboo because once it got to a certain height and it would touch on the lines and it would short out the whole street. So every now and then they would have to come out because of the bamboo and and cut it. But I think they got it. They already knew because anytime you called, I guess from my street, they would automatically come out with the the trucks or whatever because they figure the bamboo set it off again. You okay? The bamboo truck. My mom, she did this. I gotta show you guys. Oh, no, he don't. Yes, I do. That's what she did, but she did complain about it to everybody but the person doing it. And uh, she didn't want them cutting the tree and they cut the tree in a V up top because it's uh, uh, Japanese maple trees, you know, the ones that was right, Jap no, Japanese rain trees, the little pods that I had on the side of the house, the two, two little remember. trees. When you look out the side door, when you come out that door, the tree's right there, but you can't see the road. You don't remember, okay. Well, the um, the trees were cut at a V because the line went straight through there. So they cut it, she didn't want them to cut it at all. So she just stands there staring at them like, like she's, she's gonna make them not cut it as much. But what happens is they cut more because she's just standing there and they're annoyed with her standing there. So they cut more. 
That's what I had to tell well, that story. That means that's the last time they have to come back out there. Yes, but they just did it on purpose, I think. But a lot of trees, like when you ride down the expressway, I think we noticed they cut a clear line mm -hmm. like through where the, the lines run because I can I, understand why would you want to come out there every month to cut trees down. I don't think I have a picture on my phone anymore or video, but when I was with Mike at his farm, and um, we was out there building that chicken coop. It's big as a house. It's a house actually, but it's a chicken coop. And we was putting to doing the foundation for it. Well, pole bar, put doing poles for it. And helicopter with a big chainsaw. It had uh, ten or twelve blades on it. Yeah, and they come by and yeah, like the forest. Yeah. And a lot of people have, I saw it in person. It looked like 007, like thing. I said, what? The, it, it's spooky. But uh, but uh, I saw them, and then the guys, and the wind was blowing like crazy. And this guy's by the power lines cutting. And the guys down down at, um, at the bottom with the, the, the headphones on. And uh, I'm like, this, I said, and I told the guys, I think he gets paid more than I do. And I'm telling Mike, that has, guy has to be sniffing coke. You got to be doing something crazy up there that you do that. To stand up under them blades? No, to oh, be the, in the helicopter the, with the, the wind swinging. like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might have a quick disconnect on it or something. I don't know. But. Okay. I really can't think of too much. Nothing negative. Really. We met some new people over here. Paul. Paul Simmon. Simmons? Yeah, not Simons. Simmons. Not Richard. He, I don't think, I didn't ask though. He might, he might be kin to Richard. But, um, he lives in the Memphis area. M M Munford? Munford. M Munford. So, really, uh, enjoy talking. That's talk. Memphis. Oh. By Millington. Right, right? That's what he said, I think. But, uh, Really enjoyed talking to him out here, him and his wife. And their dogs actually are, um, was pretty, pretty pleasant. Instead of barking and, and like causing, you know, chaos. Um, I know I talk. Everybody's dogs out here do good. Yeah, I talk about a lot, but actually last night was the only time because it was barking. I think a raccoon was out. But just barking, but it only barked for like a few minutes, and then somebody actually went and got their dog. And I was telling them, if your dog's barking at home for three hours straight, something's wrong, people. Go out and check on your dog. After a minute straight of barking, see what's going on. But I'm told them, maybe next time we might get a. Two couple of years, I, I have a goal that I want to get a a camper and get out of the tent. When people come, they want to come. I allow some people to come every now and then because I don't want you know I'm trying to get away from people. But sometimes we want to do it as a you know a fun thing with friends. Yeah, so, I really away from people. So we can have a tent for them and we can have the RV. Stay out, people. If you're going to be coming with us, stay out. Tents for you. If that campers are rocking, I'll probably put like my socks on. I'll probably <laughs> huh? I was telling them I like having people around. I like like how they do it. The family, the family and friends gathering over there. I like stuff like it. Yeah, had a horseshoe. Had that? No, they didn't have a horseshoe. They had the sack thing. They had cornhole. What do you call me? Cornhole. Okay. Cornhole. That's what they had. We need I need to make one of those. We got one at the house. Do we? Yeah. It glows in the dark too. Oh, we didn't even use that it yet. It lights up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's it guys. I think I'm gonna cut this video off now because the only the rest of the day is just gonna be going back and forth with the trailers and trying to get stuff put up. You already seen me put that that tent up or that canopy up. Same thing. 
just a different shape. Okay, that one's actually even easier. Anything you saw? Nope. Bye, yeah. Bye. Talk to you later. Thanks for joining us in this um, sixth video vlog that I did of the picnic. This is first picnic. Oh, not picnic. Camping. First camping that Tasha and I did of 2022. No COVID was out here either. You don't know. COVID didn't even mess with nothing. This nothing didn't mess nothing up. Everybody blamed COVID. For a reason, a perfectly good reason. What'd she say? <laughs>、Oh, forgot to tell you guys、um, as I was packing up.、Uh, if you missed any of the vlogs,、uh, please look in the descriptions and、uh, these should be all in there. Okay, that's what I said. So,、uh, I think that's all I have other than Facebook subscribers.、Um, I know I beat that,、uh, beat, beat that in、uh, the videos, but、uh, I do shit. Let's do that all over. That sounds stupid as shit. No, pro, stop it. Let's not even go pro. Cut, cut, cut. All right, everyone.、Um, this is the shit. I already said. As I was packing up,、um, I did、uh, realize I didn't tell you in the descriptions is all the、uh, videos that I did out here. That Tasha and I was out here six. Five days, I think it's six videos,、um, and、uh, they'll be all in the descriptions. If you missed any, if this is the first one you caught, you might want to go back、uh, and view the very first one. I think it is three ninety nine to like four o five, something like that. So, thanks again. Over and out. Gotta go. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't. Visit my website yet?、Um, the the address is www.garbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top. All these links right here.、Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments,、uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here,、um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So.、Uh, If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to、um, listen to your comments、uh, and respond to you, so I do like to interact with you guys.、Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss, and have a great day. Let's meet other plans.